Hello everybody, yet again I'm going to try to discuss the intricacies of centering images, printing borderless, how to get through the mismatch in image ratio and paper ratio, especially if you want to print borderless. Do you know you have to actually crop your image to be able to do that accurately? You probably did not know, but there is something called expansion that image, say for instance, an 8x10 image printed on an 8x10 sheet of paper and you want it to be printed edge to edge. Well, it's not possible to do unless you expand the image beyond that. And you have to do that inside the driver. And it's going to crop your image, whether you like it or not. There's no way that you can send that perfect 8x10 dimensional image and print it edge to edge. Sure. You can diminish the amount of expansion, but then you may have some positioning errors which are handled mechanically by your printer. The printer may not be able to locate that 8x10 sheet of paper exactly in the same position to accept that again 8x10 image without a sliver of a border possibly showing. So it has to extend beyond that. That's the only way to get by this. Here you see a standard image and it is really sized for a 8.5 by 11 or letter size type print which is the most standard in the US type of paper that you would print on. Many of the printers that are available that are not in the professional side of things are size maximum to print letter size. So again, it's one of the common sizes. So let's go ahead and look at how the heck can we print this borderless where there may not be a way to do that unless you crop. Okay, let's look at this situation as it stands right now. You can see very clearly down here. And again, this will be your leading edge. This is the edge of the paper that first emerges from the printer. And this is your trailing edge, the last little bit of paper that emerges from the printer. If you notice very carefully, there's a little bit of a white space between what seems to be a black line running across. The same thing down here. You see the crisscross right here? These are the non-printable margins. And this is something that is imposed on us users. It is part of the design of the driver. You cannot print beyond the edges of that margin there as well. And you cannot print beyond the edges of this and that margin unless you choose borderless. So let's go ahead and zoom to fill because obviously this image can be expanded a little bit, but watch what happens. If I zoom to fill, I literally am cropping off the little gray edges. This image was created with some gray backgrounds. Again, it's just a collage of about 16 images and they have a little bit, tiny little bit of a border that is gray, so is the background. That will be cropped off. It will be cropped off. Now you see that the border, the gray edge, is at the top of the margin, the minimum leading edge margin, as well as the minimum trailing edge margin. You can see, when I remove zoom to fill, there's a little white gap. When I fill it, sure, it goes edge to edge, but then, you lose a little bit from the right and the left. In other words, the top and bottom of the actual image, which is in horizontal or landscape orientation. So what can we do? Well, really nothing. If this image cannot be cropped because it is designed to be like this, then that's all you can do. That's the best you can do. Okay, there's nothing else you can do. Now, what if we were printing another image, one of our own image. Let me go ahead and load one of those up. Okay, so here's a shot of uh, Max, our little Westie. This is uh, Nathan's little puppy. And we're gonna go ahead and attempt to print it. So let's jump over to our print module. And again, this is using eight and a half by 11. And as you can see, it tried to fit it as best it could. You still got that little border on the what would be the right side once this is oriented 
in landscape mode, but this is really the leading edge. There is a margin there. There is a wide margin on the bottom. Look at that, the trailing edge. That will be the left side. So when you print this, you're going to end up with a lopsided position of that image. It's not going to be centered. When you hold this horizontal or landscape, you're going to notice that the image is slid over to the right rather than centered on the piece of paper. So how do we solve this? We're going to go to the paper setup. That'll open up our printer. We can choose any printer we want. We'll go to the properties here and I'm going to choose borderless. And I'm going to accept that. We're going to use 8 or 9 by 11. And that is it. And nothing really has changed, has it? Well, now we can actually remove those margins, those restrictions. Oh, look what's happening. You see that? Well, the image, the image is this size that you can see there okay notice however the top or leading edge what would be the right side now is what equal to the left or trailing edge equal borders equal borders let's make this a true borderless see that it's going to expand the image by actually expanding the cell size to the full paper size or dimensions 11 by 8.5 and now my edges are right at the edge of the paper but when you print this it's going to expand beyond that it has to it has to expand at least to accommodate this edge and this edge because the dimensions do not match or the ratio does not match eight and a half by 11 paper, the top and bottom will remain with a border, okay? It's as simple as that. Now, if I really want to print this completely borderless, I would have to crop it. And you can do that automatically, zoom to fill. But look, his little tail is cut off. Let's slide it off. You can slide it up or down or left and right in this case because you have enlarged it well beyond the edges. Now this is going to print with absolutely no border at all. Even, even with a paper positioning error that you may have in your given printer, it's expanded so far beyond that that's not going to be an issue any longer. But what if this had been an exact, say, let's just say 8 by 10. So what we need to do is open up an 8x10 image and try to do that with 8x10 paper. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we are over in Photoshop. Let's go ahead and get this image prepped to print to 8x10. So image size, and right now it's a little bit bigger. So let's go ahead and switch that to 10. So 8.5.001. I think that's close enough. Let's resample that to 300. So we're going to go ahead and resample it. And now this is ready to be printed on a Canon printer. Let's go right over to the print module. Let's remove zoom to fill. Hmm. Oh, you know why? 8.5 by 11, right? We need to change that to 8 by 10. You see that? So that's how you do that. The image is 8 by 10. Right there, it's actually filling it edge to edge. So we can print this directly to an 8 by 10. And if we have sufficient amount of expansion, we should be able to print this without any problems. In order to adjust the expansion, say for instance, your printer, just for whatever the reason, created a slight sliver say on the bottom of the ocean side of the image well we go to page setup and increase the expansion you can decrease it or increase it as needed and that will allow you to then you know print it with absolutely no borders because you have sufficient amount of expansion to take into account any positional errors they exist. There is no perfect method of positioning your paper in a printer, such as the Pro 10. 
okay it's a consumer level printer even though it says pro it still is not a professional printer even the professional printers cannot position the paper exactly within a fraction of a millimeter so you have to expand beyond the edges now you're going to look at the print once it emerges from the printer and determine because it's not going to be just like you see it here it's going to expand even more and so you decide at that point well did it expand too much can i reduce the expansion if you choose to do so you may have to experiment to find the minimum amount of expansion required to give you an actual borderless image without a single sliver of a border on either of the edges okay so again it's a very tricky thing to do it requires some experimentation and some really careful positioning of your media when you are about ready to print it all right thank you so much don't forget to subscribe share and like and until the next time as always happy printing everybody bye bye